Hello, I'm Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. The median is a average of our data set. It is a measure of center. So the median is literally right in the middle of our data set. So that half of the data is above our median and half of our data is below the median. Most people, when they hear the word average, they think of the mean, but the median is another average, another statistic that shows that measure of center of our data set. Let's find that center number of this data set. So we have a bunch of numbers here, and the first thing we're going to do in order to find the median is we need to put them in order from um, smallest number to largest number or from largest to smallest. It doesn't matter as long as we put it in order. So I'm going to go through and put this data set in order. So we have three, five, seven, three, five, seven. Um, next one would be 12 and then 13 and then 14. And then we have 21. And then we have one, two, three, four 23s. And then we have 29, 39, 40, and 56. 56, 40, 39, and 29. Now let me just make sure I've got them all there. Okay, now I'm going to find the number that is literally in the middle. So, you know, we can kind of see it's going to be somewhere around here. But one thing we can do to find the number in the middle is we can count and see how many numbers we have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 numbers there. We can literally cut that in half and see where is the middle of this. So if I take and I cut that in half, so divide it by two to cut it in half, 15 divided by two is at seven and a half. Seven and a half um, is 15 divided by two. I'm gonna round that up to the very next, next number. So the eighth one is going to be my um, median. It's going to be right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be my median. Now I'm going to check it to make sure that they're the same number on both sides. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven below that number. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven above that number. So I've literally cut this data set in half. So that half is below this number and half is above that number. 23 is my median of this data set. Notice that it is directly in the middle of that data set. So this is a nice way to be able to find the median if I have a really large data set. If I've got um, 500 numbers, going through and maybe marking off each end would be difficult to find the one in the middle. But I can always just take and divide by two to find that middle one. Here's another example. This data set is identical to that data set. The only difference is that we've got one extra number on there. So I'm gonna rewrite that data set on there in order because the first thing we do when we're finding the median is we put our numbers in order, either from lowest to highest or from um, highest to lowest. So we have the same numbers, we just have one additional number, the 60, has been added to our data set. Let's see what that does to my median. So now instead of having 15 numbers, I now have 16 numbers in the set. I'm gonna do the same trick that I did there to figure out which one is my median. If I have 16 numbers in the set, I'm gonna divide that by two because again, I'm splitting my numbers in half. Half on one side, half on the other. 
16 divided by 2 is 8. So before I went to the 8th one, let's see, I'm going to go to the 8th one again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The 8th one is here. Now let me see if I have the same number below as above. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh-oh, it's not the same on both sides. And that's because it was an even number to begin with. So anytime I have an even number to begin with, I actually end up with two numbers in the, in the um, middle. So in this case, it's the eighth, but it's also the ninth guy. So when we have an even number to begin with, we're gonna have two numbers in the middle. When we have an odd number, we're just gonna go up to the, um, we will just have one number there in the middle. Now, here they were both 23. So our middle number is 23. So now we have half below and half above. Let's just see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sure enough, 50% of our data is below and 50% is above. But what would have happened if that number there weren't 23? Let's pretend for a minute that my data set instead is a 24, a 24, and a 24 there, so that these in the middle are 24s. If that had happened, now, these two numbers are right in the middle. My median is right dead in the middle of those two numbers. So it's going to be the midpoint of those two numbers. We found the midpoint before. Remember that we can find the midpoint by adding the two numbers together and dividing by two. So you have 47 divided by two. Well, two goes into four two times. 2 goes into 7 three times with one left over. 2 goes into 10 five times. Sure enough, 23 and a half is right in between. It's right in the middle of 23 and 24. So our median for this one is actually 23 and a half, or 23.5, 23 and 5 tenths. So that number... Half of your data is below it, and half of your data is above it. So your median divides your data set in half, so that 50% is below and 50% is above. And we can find that median first just by figuring out which one to look for by dividing our number in our data set by two. Let's look at some characteristics of the median. So the median is used mainly with quantitative data. You can see that if we're gonna split our data in half and put it in order, we need to be using numbers in order to be able to put them in order. So our data needs to be um, uh, some sort of numerical value and quantitative variables are those numerical values, those measurements and counts. And so we're using the median or we're finding the median as our statistic when we have that quantitative data, when we have an interval or ratio level of measurement. It can sometimes be used with ordinal data if you have like a Likert scale and you wanna find the median of your data and say, well, half the time the patient was below a, a pain level of three and half the time the pain the patient was above a pain level of three, you can sometimes use that, um, the, find the median of something like an, a Likert scale. So it can also be used with ordinal data. It's just that it's done less frequently. Then the median is the center of the data. It's literally in the middle of your data, but it might not be a value in that data set. Let me show you what I mean. Here's an example where we're gonna find the median. Remember when we find the median, the first thing we need to do is put our numbers in order from um, least to greatest or greatest to least. In a stem and leaf plot, it's nice because our numbers are already in order. They're already lined up in order from least to greatest. So that job's done for me. 
Now I need to find the number straight in the middle, right in the center. So I'm gonna count how many values are on this stem and leaf chart. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 data values. I'm gonna take that 18 and I'm gonna divide it by two so that I know exactly where I need to go for my median. So, and because this is even, I know there will be two numbers in the middle. So I'm going to be looking at my ninth one, but I'm also going to be looking at my tenth one. If this had been odd, then whatever number I get, I just round it up and that will tell me exactly where I need to be. But here I'm going to look at the ninth and tenth values. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. My median is going to be right in the middle of those two. So I need to look right in the middle of these two values. So those numbers are 62 and 65. Remember to find that midpoint. What we can do is add the two numbers up and divide by 2. So that's 127 divided by 2 is 60. 2 goes into 7 three times with one left over. So it's um, 63 and 5 tenths. So right in the middle here, right in the middle there, is this number 63 and 5 tenths. That's your median. Now if that's true, we should have half below and half above. Let's see if there are the same number of below as there are above. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine below, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine above. So sure enough, that 63.5 is the median of this data set. Notice that 63.5, 63 and 5 tenths is not a number on my stem and leaf plot. There aren't any decimal numbers on my stem and leaf plot. So part of my data set is not this number. It's just the number right straight in the center of that data. So the median is a statistic. It is an average. So if you hear someone say, find the average, maybe they want you to find that median. Math made simple. It's some math. Thanks for watching.